Thanksgiving Day is here and some families have been prepping for it for weeks. To the grocery store, you know, dinner has been more expensive this year. For one family that relies on Kentucky food assistance and SNAP benefits, their dinner has almost doubled in cost. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson explains how people on assistance are paying the price. So much cool. Tanya friends. Whitfield and her family are getting ready for Thanksgiving. She's a mom of two that uses SNAP benefits to feed her family. This year, her cousin, who also uses benefits, is making the turkey day meal, and she knows that food costs have gone way up. I am a great budgeter but I can't turn a dollar out of 15 cent. There's no way to do that. Food prices have risen more than 10% this year compared to a year ago. And the American Farm Bureau estimates that Thanksgiving dinner is up 20% from last year. As 25 family members and friends head to Tanya's family's dinner table, as a member of the Kentucky Food Action Network, she knows that even more benefits might be cut by the winter holidays. We have family come over, and I want people to be able to eat well because that's what the holidays are about is eating and spending time with your family. Thanksgiving, Whitfield says that her family has spent double what they've spent in holidays past, and that accounts for a little more than a fourth of their benefit budgets for the month. And that's just at the lowest that I'm thinking, because I know she probably got some extra greens and some, you know, and it's just like, that's a lot because that's just for one meal. When I spoke with Tanya this summer, her benefits had dropped more than $200. Now she's getting a little more than $700 a month in benefits. And she says recently she's noticed that she's getting less food for her money. She says she's a strict budgeter and is thankful that she can provide for her daughters and that her family is able to get together this holiday. Now she has this message for policymakers. So when people that have worked hard their whole lives have to do this to keep their head above water, then you need to look at that kind of information of like, okay, why is that? What more can we do as policymakers? What more can we do as legislators? And that's why as people, we have to speak up. We have to say enough is enough. A family continuing to enjoy the holiday together. In Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.